Hi, my name is Susan Gunn. I'm a financial organizational expert working with professional practices for over 20 years now. For many of those years, I've been saying that three out of five practices are experiencing some form of embezzlement. Does that alarm you? Because it should. Let me personalize this to your organization. Three out of five of your doctor members are experiencing some form of embezzlement. I believe if they own a practice for 30 years or longer, 100% will experience some form of embezzlement during the course of their ownership. Their employees start by padding the hours they've worked or walking out the back door with the bright white kits or the Sonicare toothbrushes in their handbags. They progress by taking cash from the petty cash or the deposit, or they run credits on their own credit cards. When they don't get caught doing that, they're much braver and begin forging insurance checks or the patient checks. I've investigated and prepared evidence for practice embezzlement cases in the low thousands to over a million dollars. Again, does this alarm you? Because it should. I began lecturing on embezzlement many years ago when a previous client was embezzled. I became a certified fraud examiner to add this internationally recognized credential to an already existing expertise and skills. I know conventions and study clubs have a limited number of speakers for practice management at each meeting, but they need to hear this important information. When a doctor discovers an embezzlement, oh, it's very disheartening, it's very discouraging, and it's quite often debilitating. It takes years to recover, not only financially, but emotionally. Please consider having someone at your meeting to encourage your doctors to take charge of their practices to help prevent embezzlement. They must get this information. Let me tell you about my highly rated and most often requested embezzlement course. Seated at shared tables, attendees are restricted to doctors and spouses. They learn the who, what, when, where, and whys of embezzlement by discussing actual, real-life case studies. I believe in course interaction because they learn from each other as well as me. The second half of the course, I give them very specific information regarding what areas to safeguard. When they leave my course, they have a plan of action for their own practice. They know what they must do. And if you'd like to address the practice's employees, I have a fun ethics course designed just for them. In all fairness, doctors have become complacent. They trust the person that they have in charge at the front desk or of their own accounting. But the person who embezzles is always someone they have trusted. They don't often realize the people whom they feel that have become family, whose kids' birthday parties they've attended, whose parents they provided services for, are the very ones that have taken thousands, if not hundreds of thousands of dollars from them. I need your help. It is a crisis, and it must be addressed. If you have a magazine that you could use an article, I would love to write one for you. If you have a meeting that needs a speaker, I would love to be that expert. Together, let's get the word out. Let's help make them aware of the dangers that are lurking in their practice. Seriously, help me help them. Let's provide them the information they need to protect their practice. Thank you.